talking economics. So I want to talk about economic shifts. We spent, this, by the way, that picture was my first book called The Long Boom. So I've spent a lot of time thinking about long-term growth. If you went back, the last 2010, we were all were, 20, 2010s, uh, we were all worried about, oh, are we ever going to get out of this recession from the great crash of 2008 and all kind of stuff. We were all kind of worried about going, slipping back in, low, tepid growth, all that kind of stuff. This decade, it's the opposite problem. We are going to be in a boom, and an incredible boom. We're already in the boom, but it's going to continue through this whole decade, and I'm going to tell you why in a second here. But this is, in my opinion, we are in another economic boom. And what is the main reason I bring this up? Coming from one of the things that drives long-term economic growth, again, my first book was all built on this, called The Long Boom, is technologies. When technologies create new industries which just kind of totally change the nature of the economy, there is an incredible amount of scaling up that goes on to this. And what happens right now, this era right now, we have three, not one, not two, but three world historical booms, technology booms going on. We've got, essentially, I talked to you about the, the clean ener the energy boom. Like, think about the next 30 years. If you can't make money making that shift, you got to, you know, there, there's a ton of money there. There is, uh, there's essentially a bunch of biotech boom, which I'm going to get to briefly a little bit later. But I just want to touch here on those top three out there. Um, there's still a lot to go in this digital boom, this digital technology boom. And uh, one thing that people underestimate is we got 60% of the people on the planet are on the internet right now. And the story of the last 25 years is how did that happen? But we still have three billion people who don't, aren't on the internet. Half of Asia is not on the internet. Basically, two thirds of uh, the Middle East and Africa are not on. 40% of Latin America still is not. We're gonna add uh, three billion people. Again, and if you're all connected up and you have kind of e-commerce and all the stuff that you'll be thinking about, that's bringing a lot of people. That's growth, that's crazy thing happening. 